Alert, alert! We have a MLB team qualifying under the money-making scoring drought betting system that has generated 23 straight wins. Can we make it 24 in a row? We'll find out tonight. Professor MJ's first baseball pick for Friday, July 21st is the New York Yankees, who will be hosting the Kansas City Royals. Let me remind you how the scoring drought betting strategy works. Bet against the road team if they have lost their past two games by scoring a maximum of two runs in each of those defeats. And if their money line today is higher than plus 150 in American format, which equates to 2.50 in decimal format. Let's take a look at Casey's schedule. They did lose their past two contests by scoring zero and two runs respectively. Since the odds on the Royals are in fact bigger than plus 150, we must fade them, which explains the Yankees pick. We have more arguments backing the Bronx Bombers in this meeting. Indeed, we have the cold team's matchup betting angle backing the Yankees. In short, it suggests betting the home squad if they are coming off at least four straight losses when facing a visiting team that lost its past one, two, or three games. In the current case, New York lost its past four meetings while the Royals are undergoing a two-game losing skid. Clark Schmidt will start for the Yankees and I have praised him on several occasions lately. After a rocky start to his 2023 campaign, he has done a fantastic job. Can you believe that he has not surrendered more than three earned runs in any of his last 11 outings? The Royals will counter with rookie Alec Marsh, who has made three MLB starts. He did not fare very well in his first two starts before doing much better six days ago. He struck out 11 batters against a tough Rays lineup while allowing two runs in six innings. You've got to be concerned about a couple of things though. First, he has given up five long balls in three starts. Secondly, issuing eight walks in 15 innings is not very good either. To top it all off, I like the fact that the Yankees are certain not to take the lowly Royals for granted. New York currently sits in last place of their division, so they must have extra motivation to get out of this bad position. I agree that betting such low odds is not super exciting, but winning 23 bets in a row due to a specific betting system is impressive and it's got to grab your attention. Give me the Yankees here. Here is another bet that I like quite a bit. Under four and a half runs in the first five innings of the Blue Jays vs Mariners meeting. You say Kikuchi is set to start against his former team. He played his first three seasons with the Mariners before signing with the Jays in 2022. He has faced Seattle just once, a game in which he tossed six scoreless innings. He will be very focused in his first appearance in Seattle since leaving the Mariners. Meanwhile, Bryce Miller will take the mound for Seattle. His 0.97 whip statistic is spectacular and ranks among the best in the big leagues. So far in his career, he has allowed three or fewer runs in 10 of 12 starts. Would you like more good value wagers from the holder of a PhD in statistics who's been beating online sportsbooks since 1999? If so, then subscribe to the best sports betting show on YouTube and hit the little bell to get alerts as soon as I release new betting tips. I'm Professor MJ from Quebec City in Canada wishing you an awesome weekend, my friend.